Uh, since I showed you the prob quality problems with the swashplate uh, that came with the DFC upgrade kit from Copterex, um, I'm going to show you some new stuff from Copterex that I got today. Uh, this is the uh, 450, uh, which is fitted with the Copterex DFC upgrade. And uh, with the upgrade comes the Copterex. Uh, uh, 3x2000 gyro uh, which I mounted here and as you can see I'm using a regular park flyer receiver from Spectrum which is mounted there on the inside now this is a setup that causes um, a few cables to be in the way and if you use a more expensive gyro like for example the Beast X you won't need this uh, because uh, the gyro uh, has a plug where you can plug in uh, one of these, um, the Spectrum Satellite. And you can use only this and uh, it will pick up all the signals or your channels through the cable from this one. Now this wasn't possible to do with the Copter X gyros before, but with this version of the gyro and with the new firmware, you can use this little thing. So this is a cable that you're supposed to be able to plug into your gyro on one end and into your satellite on the other one end. Uh, and I will come back to that later when I figure out how to do this because I got this without any uh, instructions whatsoever. And maybe Google will help me or I will send an email to eHerobo and ask them how to do this. Or I just uh, try to figure it out myself. We'll see. I'll explain this later. Okay, I've set everything up now, plugging in the satellite to uh, the gyro. Uh, as you can see, the the receiver is still in there, but it's not used. And I have the satellite plugged in here with the satellite cable. And there's nothing strange about that, but I've had a lot of issues doing this. Uh, because once uh, I tried to change the receiver type from conventional receiver to DSM2 um, something went wrong and I have uh, tried uh, I've been doing lots of plugging, unplugging and finally used uh, the programming box which I managed to make uh, communicate again with the gyro as uh, the USB device didn't uh, managed to do that and I did uh, full reset, data reset. After that it's communicating again and it's plugged in and I have the signals coming through but it doesn't work very well. Uh, now I haven't went gone through the setup procedure to get uh, everything right, the directions of the source plate and everything um, but we can see here that when I move the sticks I have movement on the source plate. However, on the tail there is no movement. It's dead. Uh, and we'll go back to the screen now and show you what's happening. So on the screen this is the Copter X Gyro software. I tried to get it sharp right now. I had film it on the screen, but it's like that today. Okay, so here we have the software and just be careful because it tends to crash when you resize the window. Okay, here we have the software and the radio. And as you can see already, the rudder is uh, full left. Actually, I can move the, the right stick so you can see that the aileron is working and the elevator is working. But when I move the throttle and uh, pitch stick, you can see the collective pitch going up, so that works. But there's no movement on the throttle, which is uh, full negative. And when I move the rudder stick, you can see the throttle is changing. So that's not good. Uh, you can also see that the tail gain is at minus 55, which is, should be actually normal, but uh, uh, when I flip the, the switch 
for the rudder, the gyro, sorry, the rudder is changing. So what I can see from this is that the gyro, throttle and rudder channels are um, mixed up. And I have no idea what to do about this uh, at the moment. Uh, just to mention it, I've tried all the types of receivers that's available on this drop-down. And uh, the DSM-2-1 is the only one um, that works this well. All the other ones works uh, not at all, more or less. Uh, so... Well, the result of this is that I will plug back in the other receiver and um, conclude that this this will not work for me. And I will have to go through the setup of the gyro again since I had to reset it.